An Australian-made submarine has been used for the second manned expedition to the ocean's deepest spot. The Hollywood film director James Cameron made the solo 11-kilometre descent to the floor of the Mariana Trench near Guam inside the Deep Sea Challenger. He described the bottom as a sterile desert and the journey akin to going to another planet and back. Phil Durbin was the designer of the cockpit in the so-called torpedo and he's been under a confidentiality agreement for the last six years but is now celebrating a mission accomplished. I actually sat on the beach with a, a glass of champagne overlooking the water because it's, uh, I mean, it's an immense engineering achievement as, as well as a, a voyage of adventure. It's, a, it's an engineering voyage of adventure as well. You must be relieved because clearly this was a very dangerous mission. Yes, the margins of safety uh, are quite low. So, um, yes, uh, certainly uh, Jim had his uh, life in our hands as, as in that regard. There was one small mishap when a hydraulic arm crumbled under enormous pressure, but overall it was a great result. Oh, it's a very good result. I mean, our, our job in the whole project was to take um, Jim Cameron's and uh, Ron Allen's design and we at Finite Elements, we, um, we had to put the engineering behind the, the major structure of the submarine, then, i.e. The, uh, the sphere and the uh, green syntactic um, beam that you see in the pictures. That's all, all a one-piece um, syntactic foam body and uh, that was one of the other achievements in the project was to create a foam that would both act as the body and chassis of the vehicle and withstand the extreme pressure and uh, together with um, Ron Allen we invented that uh, we invented that foam specifically to do the job and uh, tailored it to the requirements. Let's hear now from James Cameron after that momentous dive. The impression to me was that it was very lunar a uh, very desolate place, very uh, very isolated. Uh, my, my feeling was one of complete isolation from all of humanity. I mean, I felt like I literally in the space of one day have gone to another planet and come back. So what was it like being gagged for all those years until the mission was over and James Cameron was safe and dry? Um, well, I guess it's not the sort of project you want to brag about unless um, it's successful. So in that respect, it's quite good. Otherwise, yes, sure, you really want to tell people about it. But uh, quite honestly, the, the pace of work over the last year was so intense that uh, you really had very little time to think about anything other than keeping on task, on focus and doing the job. It certainly brings your smile to your face and it's a... It's as much a win for engineering and science as it is for the adventure of um, going to the bottom of the trench. Phil Durbin in Tasmania, congratulations and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Nicole.